8.15 now, and who hasn't looked in the mirror at least once and thought, if I could just pinch a little fat here, maybe sculpt a little rough terrain there, then maybe I wouldn't complain as much. Does that sound familiar? Well, live from the SFL in Bal Harbor, Kristen Anderson is getting the skinny on liposuction with a lesson in plastic surgery 101. What's up, Kristen? Yes, indeedy, Dave. Are you ready to be intimidated right now? Hello, this is the instrument used when you get liposuction, and it's a little intimidating. Call this the magic wand, if you will. Are you serious? But then afterwards, when you think about the end result, I don't know, you start wondering, would I do it? Should I do it? Is this for me? That's why we're doing this story this morning, giving you a lesson in plastic surgery 101. Not because you need plastic surgery, but just to explore it, see what it's all about. If you've been wondering, here you go. Let's bring in the good doctor, Dr. Michael Salzauer here at Bow Harbor Plastic Surgery. Doctor, uh, this is uh, very scary, so can you please put mine and, and their mind at ease? <laughs> sure, well, this is the, liposu the liposuction cannula that's used to suck out the fat from areas you don't want it. Yes. Now, it would be very painful if you were awake, but luckily you're asleep when this happens. Okay. And it is a whole lot easier than going to the gym for 12 months. And okay. you can see from this before and after picture Are over here. Are you using here. it as a pointer? You're like, you can see. It has multiple uses. <laughs> okay, so. so this is before. This is the before patient here. Um, you can see, obviously, she's got a body that she doesn't like. And here's the after picture a few months later. Now the incisions that are used are really, really small, they're the size of a staple. Okay. And so those scars heal really, really well and I hide them in places like the belly button and in the bikini line so that you really can't see them when you go to the beach. Okay, how painful is this? Well, it's pretty uncomfortable for a couple of days. You need at least five days off from work or school to recover from an operation like this. Okay. And it's not for everybody, you have to be young and healthy. Your skin has to be tight, it has to be able to contract back down after the fat's removed. If it's too loose, you could end up with some irregularities and things like that, so you have to be the right candidate for it. Okay, and obviously there is a huge difference in this before and after. This sure. is without hitting the gym, this is just liposuction. This is without hitting the gym, this is just liposuction. Now, obviously you have to eat right, you yeah. have to take care of yourself. It's not a miracle. It's not risks like you. Involved. Of course, there's always risks with surgery. If you're young and healthy, the risks are very, very small, but they're not zero. Now, if it's done by a board-certified plastic surgeon in an accredited facility and you get medical clearance beforehand, it's very safe. It's by far and away the most popular plastic surgery operation in the world. Okay, I'm gonna move out of the mm -hmm. way and I want you, you have a model here, and I, sure. I want you to walk me through, a patient comes in, wants liposuction, and what do, you, what do you do here? Well, Giovanna already has a great body, but she has a few tiny little problem areas, let's say she wanted to get rid of. Turn this way for a second, Giovanna. So here, for example, she might have a little bit of extra fat that's just not coming off by working out at the gym. So that's when they come to me. And basically, I mark the areas of the extra fat. We pick an area where we're gonna make a little incision. And the incision is about this big, again, the size of a dot or a staple there. I put fluid inside. The fluid helps the fat come out, and it also cuts down on any blood loss during the surgery. And then afterwards, she wears a compression garment, which keeps everything nice and tight. She gets massages afterwards to keep the skin nice and smooth. And voila, the body she wants for the summer. And voila with the magic wand, the body she wants for the summer. Bikini body ready. Okay, cost? Uh, it depends. $3,500 to start with for one area. And then each additional area, you know, it increases in price. It can be up to $10,000 depending on how much liposuction you want. Okay, depending on how many. Mm -hmm. Doctor, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Okay, we're not going anywhere. We're still schooling you in plastic surgery 101. So coming up in a little bit, we're going to talk about one of the most popular rhinoplasty, a.k.a. nose job. So stick around for that live in the SFL. I'm Kristen Anderson. Throw it back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Kristen. Also coming up on the morning show, hey, 